Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 17th, 2020. So today we have the Beloved and this is technically a soulmate card. Now, we are fighting a huge illness right now and as I've been saying in a spiritual sense, there's a far deeper ill than what we're seeing on the surface. And what I mean by that is self-centeredness. Our sense of self-preservation has gone off the rails. And now we see everyone as competition. We are in a lack mentality, which means we're in a lack energy. So what do you think you're going to draw into your life? <laughs> so we're also in this mentality too, that if we have a soulmate card come up, people immediately go, oh, that's right. It's a message about my soulmate finally coming to me. There are soulmates all around you. Hate to break it to you. Okay, there's not one beacon of light that's going to come forward and be like, oh, you know, there's a lot. <laughs> no, that definitely could happen. Uh, some of you out there definitely have, you know, a, a lifetime of lessons where relationship is very important. But in order for you to pull in something pure, and this is where I'm going with this. In order to pull in something pure, you cannot be shallow about it. Soulmates are little troublemakers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not always, but they're the ones that are so deeply connected to you that they come with the lessons. They signed up to meet you in your life to teach you something. What do you want that lesson to be? I don't know. Each of you have your own soul's contract. It could be something beautiful, like I'm here to teach you what real love is. I'm here to teach you what the true meaning of friendship is. And that doesn't work out beautifully for everybody. If you take a shallow approach to love, for example, and someone shows up and maybe you consider them not your type, but that was your soulmate, if you want to, in the terms that some people use it, you're going to learn a hard lesson about turning real love away. Same thing with friends. Maybe you have very trustworthy people around you who really do care about you, but they don't seem that fun to you because they won't go skydiving with you. And so you think they're boring and you dismiss them and, you know, and you just keep staying with other people who match your energy. Sometimes that's how a soulmate will show up. A soulmate can be representing a failed lesson. I hate to put that word around it because it's just a very human way of putting it. But a lost chance. And then what? You start to get into a restless energy. Because you know you missed out. But now you can't go back and fix it, right? Because it starts with you. If you want to connect with a soulmate and have positive lessons come out of that, let's go the other way. Maybe you thought, gosh, you know, I can't seem to meet <laughs> my right partner, you know? Uh, and then somebody comes along and says, hey, I'm here. I'm showing up for you. You know what I mean? And you recognize it and you see it and you're so grateful. But you'll never have that kind of lesson if you don't know how to be in touch with your own soul. If you do not go deep, man, for I'm telling you, for forever, anybody who has gone deeper than the surface gets beat up. And it's not about being a victim. It's about awareness, guys. Oh, that person's such a drag. We gotta stop that. <laughs> we gotta stop that because those are the people screaming from the rooftops going hey y'all you see what we're doing here so if your mind immediately went to oh yay i'm finally going to be relieved of all my pain because someone's going to come and save me depends on what you're experiencing right now maybe you are feeling very lonely i get that oh man it's these are the the toughest times any of us who are alive have probably experienced maybe except for like very elderly people who might remember Pearl Harbor or something, you know what I mean? I mean, but, and of course I was there, not in New York, but um, definitely very aware and old enough to remember 9-11. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are very, very, very tough times. And these are times that are really teaching us something. How many more things have to happen before we get it? Don't just look at the surface. Don't just, and that, if that's beyond your comfort level, I'm not saying you got to go as deep as a Scorpio, okay, for, 
<laughs> just on like, you know, just like, again, that's me being shallow about Scorpios, I guess. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's almost cliche now, right? But try to look beyond the surface for yourself and for others. All right? Don't worry so much about being right. It's not time for that anymore. We have to let that go. So what does a beloved card talk about? It's about you being the beloved. It's about you being a carrier of real divine love, not just telling yourself you are so that you feel like you've accomplished something. You can't fool the universe. You'll be in real love and exude that light, or you won't. And guess what? You can't tell who's doing what, where, why, and when from looking at the surface. You might be judging and putting down people who are real carriers of light. And you might be worshipping people who are just shallow. Just telling you what you want to hear. Just as an example. So where do you want to be? It's going to be a hard day for some of you. I'm not going to lie. Because if you have been avoiding your deeper feelings, and let's be honest, for a lot of you out there, especially if you're listening to this, a lot of you out there, um, that's really what you're experiencing. Avoidance. It's not going to be what you think it is. But if you give it a chance, your day is going to turn around and you're going to feel uplifted and you're going to remember who you are and how important your connection is to other people. Again, not in a shallow way. I've heard so many people go, oh, I'm just, I'm used to being around people. I need people. I need people. You, you need, you better stop. Look at that word. Hit pause. Look at that word. Need is not where you want to be. I enjoy the connection with other people. I recognize how important that is. And I can't wait until I can have it again. But I know that we're all going through a very big <laughs> sort of self-reflection time. That's the energy to be in. Gratitude. Gratitude that hopefully, <laughs> gratitude that we learn our lesson, I guess is what we're getting at here. And that is we carry forward when we have connections with another, it's on a deep soul level. Even if it is just honoring a fellow soul. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.